Hello, welcome to Board Deck and Dice, how to draw board games. So what you need to do is open up your usual uh, photo editor. Here I'm going to use uh, Pixelmator. I'm just going to grab a nice sized uh, 1080p one. And what I'll do is just trim that canvas down to make it square like most board game boxes, as we are going to draw a board game box today. Now what's been suggested by the viewers is that I draw a uh, Jaws. So I'm just going to do this from memory because that's better. So I'm going to get my nice sea blue, make sure my uh, thing here is the right size. And I'm just going to spray some blue on, looking like sea. doesn't matter if I leave a little bit of white in there, it looks like foam or bubbles or something. Might even try and put some of that in later on. Oh, now what I should have done my instantly, my first mistake is to uh, not have a background layer so I can edit everything. So what I'm going to do is make a background layer here. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, let's, let's just, let's just do this. Let's go back. Let's, let's start again. Oh, there we have a canvas, 1080p, da, 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 a new layer. Now this new layer will be transparent so I can draw on it without any uh, destructive elements, you see. So I've got my C here. Da, 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 da. And just for a bit of realism, I'm gonna make some darker blue here and a little bit of a smaller brush size. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop some in you know, just to simulate the sea there and what might be lurking below. Then we need to move on and do our jaws. I'm going to use the gel pen for my outline here. I'm going to grab a grey picture here. And jaws is kind of coming up on the the out the cover there like uh, a massive triangle. There he is. Oh, I'm not very happy about this. I'm just going to undo that one. Let's go. Uh, let's go. I remember low, he kind of got, got his mouth open around here, so we kind of want to have a mouth going like this. And I'm just using the very latest techniques in digital art here. Now I'm going to give him some uh, some teeth, actually. We'll get, a, we'll get a white here for his pearly whites. Well, let's, let's, just, get a, let's just get a slightly off-white, tinged with pink from his last meal. Uh, I'll just give him one tooth there, another tooth there, another tooth there, uh, another slightly broken one here to indicate that he's been in a few fights, eaten a few things that he shouldn't have. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll just make sure I've given him the atomically correct number of teeth for, our, for a shark to have. Then we want to... Uh, just make that background uh, black in there. So just, uh, just kind of me. I'm using the wrong one. I, I don't know what to use the gel pen again. Make it a little bit bigger. Zoom right in on those teeth so we can we can get an accurate kind of black in there. Oh, very accurate. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, this is just something you can do at home to draw jaws or any board game that you would like. I didn't know I was gifted as a digital artist until recently. So uh, I just found this out just by messing around. And as you can see, it's a gift that anyone can develop very easily. You just have to have a computer. I'm not using a pencil or anything like that. I'm just using a mouse and some sort of software that allows you to do things like this. You could use uh, Microsoft Paint. Does it still exist? Uh, I mean, you could use, and I often get asked why I don't use traditional pen and paper. The answer is I do, but I just don't show off about it. So uh, there's always that as well. Make sure he's got a nice rounded mouth because we know in nature uh, everything is nice and rounded. So now we've done that, we need to do the teeth themselves. So again, we're going to get that off-white there and just start filling in the gaps here. Uh, 
And one little nice thing that I would like to do is just add a little tongue, a little tongue edge to him. Uh, we will see that coming on in a minute. Da, 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 da. Here he comes, it's Jaws. Here he comes, he's hunting swimmers. Can you stop him eating swimmers? You'll have more bonuses if you do. So that's just a little bit of a sung word guide to playing George Jaws, the board game. I like Jaws. It's a hidden movement game. One player plays Jaws. The other players play as Hooper, Barry and Ian as they try and stop Jaws from eating swimmers. Uh, if he should eat nine swimmers in the Act 1, then he'll get loads of bonuses for Act 2. That doesn't seem to matter, though, because I did that against my uh, wife and child, and they still beat me in Act 2, mainly because my son can read my mind and knew exactly what I was up to on every play. So now we've given him his teeth and his mouth hole. Let's give him a little bit of a tongue. Going on like that, be careful not to go over stuff that you've done before because then you just have to delete it. Uh, I could use other layers and then just change them as I go along, but I'm too lazy. Uh, Jaws needs to be a grey jumbo chisel. I don't know how that goes. Let's let's just try it. Let's just give him a grey here. And, oh, look at that. I don't. Why has it gone silly the one way? Mm, I don't like it. Uh, Japanese brush. Oh, look at this. We're going to Japanese brush jaws all the way around his whole body here. I might just move up, zoom out a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's your interpretation. Uh, so, yeah, the jaws game takes about half an hour to 40 minutes to play. And, um, you know, can be enjoyed by family, games nights, people. It's a really good laugh, as a lot of them from Ravensburger are. I mean, I like this. It gives me kind of a two-tone. As I go over the other grey, it gives me a dark kind of mix here, that which makes it look like I'm meant to do that, which is great, because it's making my jaws look a lot crap. Control-Z does undo, so that's good to know, isn't it? And, oi! I don't know what I'm doing there. Must have had one too many sugars in my tea. So I'm just going to keep doing this. I could do it bigger. It would make it quicker. But, um, you know, it's uh, it's my choice. And I choose not to make it quicker. So here we go. And we're getting round to the end here. Here we go. Yes. Uh, there's some blue there. But like I say, I'm not perfectionist. Although... Obviously, one thing we haven't got yet is Jaws's uh, nozzle. So we're going to just give him some good nostril sizes here. We're not going to mess around here. We're just going to stick him in. That's a bit too big, isn't it? Well, let's try. How's that? Yeah, one there. One there. There's his nozzle. We'll zoom out. And we'll have a look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that so far. Let's uh, now compare it to our reference piece. I said I wasn't going to look too much, but... Uh, I'm going to now, so I'm not going to do any of the writing, but I need to make the top look a bit rubbish uh, and then uh, put a swimmer in. So that's all easy. We see that I've made my uh, blue sea a little bit too low, so we'll come up with some lighter blue there. Get into the top, it gets greener. We'll put, put, just put little shades of that in everywhere. And then we'll go over it again with another blue just to make it look super realistic as per the guide image there. So we see this is exactly how the sea looks. Um, and uh, just because I do like Ravensburger, we're going to put in a dark blue triangle down there because why not? So we've got our gel pen. We're going to turn it up a little bit this time. And we're just going to go. I'm not going to do any writing because I don't want you to see my handwriting and copy it for security reasons. So I'm not going to put jaws up here. I need to make that air look a little bit crappy and polluted so I think we'll go for a nice uh, yellow there like there's specks of pollen in the air and we're just going to spray that across there we go perfect the air looks infected and in fact what I might do is just do that a little bit a little bit a little bit smaller but in the sea just to give it that nice kind of Oh, bubbles, oh, bubble, 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 bubbles, air bubbles. So you know that Jaws is coming up, but there's a lot worse than Jaws coming later on. Now, we have to do a swimmer. I'm going to be honest, um, 
people aren't my strength, but we'll give it a go. And we'll just do a nice little um, flesh colour here. Uh, it's a, is it a white lady? It's a white lady with yellow hair. So we'll go for a nice pink. We'll zoom in for this. And uh, we'll make her kind of uh, here. And we only see half her face because she's in the water. So it's like the other half is in the water there. So we'll just whip up the brush up. It's far too big, far too big. Whip up the brush size and just kind of wing. Da, da, da. Don't worry about those guidelines. No one can see him. And then her body kind of comes down here. She's got one arm up going to swim. She's got bathers on. We will add those later. Don't worry. This is going to be uh, appropriate. And then she kind of disappears into the water here with one foot kicking there and another foot kicking out of the water. And what we're going to do is just go back to our uh, go back to our blue here. And uh, we're going to make it a little bit opaque, which means see-through. And then just kind of just gently so you've got the kind of you don't have to be that accurate, see, because we get a little bit more opaque, a little bit more. Because you can still see that she's under there swimming. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I just want to stick some yellow hair. She was blonde, wasn't she? We weren't that full. Not that uh, smaller, smaller, smaller. So you can see I'm moving all around all these options. And then we'll just give her some realistic looking hair here. Uh, coming off, going behind her arm there and spraying up behind her. Uh, it's all wet and stuff, so it's a nightmare. And just going down her back. Now, many of you will have noticed that so far we haven't got a swimming costume on her. I don't care what colour it is, so we're going to make it red. I'll make it a bit bigger here. Not that big. Very gentle here. I'll just give her a little bit of a red, kind of Baywatchy uh, thing there going on. Make sure we cover her rear end. And uh, then we've lost a bit of definition on her face, so we're going to do a little artisty trick here. Take a take a darker pink, uh, kind of like this, and just just. Just define her face a little bit, define her arms so we know where the edges are, uh, so we can see the outlines of everything. Uh, that's from her hair. And we'll give her a little eyeball. There she is. Her mouth is like there. She's smiling. She doesn't know Jaws is coming. And we just outline the legs so we know where her uh, physically represented legs are. And then it goes under the water, so we don't need to underline there. Uh, we don't need to online the costume because it is clothing and that's how art works. So there we have it, Jaws, a quick guide to drawing board game art. If you would like to see me draw another board, cover, board game cover, then let me know in the comments and I'll do that next time. Thanks very much for watching Board Deck and Dice.